have an aha moment where I was like, wow, I, I really could win this thing. No. <laughs> no, I knew I was going home at the dog ball. Oh, really? I knew I was going home. It was a sewing challenge, and I'm not that great of a seamstress. And, um... The challenge that you ended up winning. <laughs> the challenge I ended up winning because I can sell death insurance, or I can sell life insurance to a corpse, Mary. Um, well, basically, you know, I, I could sew. I was trying to sew these costumes, and then it and then it clicked. Then it clicked with me. I was like, this is a ball, and a ball is not about wearing costumes. Balls are about serving absolute realness. And you know, me just being so educated in the history of drag. Um, I'm so familiar with, you know, how the Harlem ball scene went, and you didn't wear a costume. You you dressed to look absolutely real. So I think I think the reason I buzzed right on by is because I didn't wear costumes. I was literally wearing my boy clothes. Really? <laughs> yeah, the, 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 the Lindsay Lohan look was just the jeans I wore that day and the t-shirt I wore that day. Threw on some sunglasses, duct taped a... Uh, uh, a flip cam on my leg and called it a scram bracelet and called it a day. You know, some of my favorite things about what you wore were what you wore as boy clothes. Like that RuPaul shirt that you would cut up like to make sort of a halter top. Yeah, I, like, I, I knew, I, I love, you know, male fashion as much as I love female fashion and I definitely, you know, sometimes drag queens, they have so much fashion in drag, but they don't have any fashion out of drag. And, yeah. you know, I think every minute of life is Halloween, so I, I love, I love to get ready for anything. But thank you for noticing my boy clothes, because a lot of people, a lot of people just think I look trashy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, there's nothing wrong with being a little slut -tastic. Yeah, you know, I thought cool. I looked Show up. Skin, you know? Yeah, shorty shorts. <laughs> An iconic t-shirt. Yes, definitely. <laughs> The decision is mine. I died. With everything <laughs> over your head. Like I was in tears. Um, so, what's next for Sherry Needles? I am just. I'm constantly, uh, currently touring right now, um, and it does not let up for her. I mean, it's, it's four or five shows a week. I haven't been home in three weeks. I just go home for a day to unpack, unpack all my disgusting, stinky costumes and refill it with more. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I also have a lot of other great. Uh, Projects coming up. I'm doing. Uh, I'm doing a photo shoot with the legendary Jane County, who is a huge inspiration to me. Um, I'm doing a play with Peaches Christ at the Castor Theater in San Francisco at the end of uh, July. It's called um, Silence of the Trans, and I play Buffalo Jill. It's going to be a whole new meaning to touch this skin. Touch all, all of this the skin. skin. <laughs> you can't That's handle awesome. it, Clarice. <laughs> Well, that's great. We look forward to definitely seeing whatever it is that you're going to be serving up. Thank you so much. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hail Satan. <laughs> Thanks so much. No problem. Happy Halloween.